Hello, Andy. This is Colin. I want to be able to get in tonight. I'm sweating like a pig. I'm sweating like a pig. So, still David, still want gaming. Got my John Hare t-shirt on now. Gonna have to get John Hare on the show again. I've not spoke to him in a few, it seems like a year now. Um, but anyway, we're going to the games we've been playing. Episode 340. First up, No Longer Home. And this one is... It's... How do you put it? It's like, it's like those, like... It does have a gameplay element. It does have a walking around a 3D environment. But it's very much reading a lot of stuff that's on the thing, selecting um, some phrases, uh, comments and some replies and questions, things like that. And it's just a story about growing up and moving away and losing friends and family and things like that. Um, it was very boring to me. For me, it was very boring. Um, to other people, might get right into it, might really enjoy the, the game. Unfortunately for me, it just didn't click and I just turned it off, it was quite slow. Um, next up we'll talk about the Night Witch and this one, I'm so sorry but it might, <laughs> I might say this wrong, I believe this one is a 2D side-scrolling sort of shooter and you're like a flying little witch with a really big sprite, looks nice but the problem is with really big sprites you're a really big enemy that um, a target that enemies can hit so yes it might look nice in screenshots and stuff but when you're actually playing the game it kind of defeats the object, you want a smaller sprite character to make it a lot harder to be hit um, but it played nice, it looks nice the weapons are nice the, some of the graphics and the backgrounds are really nice, really, and it, it's just an, a 10 15 pound sort of game. It's just a really little budget game, but it's, it's really good. The next game. And again, I'm going to get this so wrong. I do apologise to Team Seventeen, who I think published it. Uh, Thai, Messia, the Messia. I'll go with that one, the Messia. And it's a Dark Souls sort of clone. It's on a budget, I would have a guess. So it's quite a small sort of looking game. It looks nice. It just doesn't have the detail of some of these other Dark Souls and. Elden Ring sort of games but it's it's a really good little game I enjoyed it and when I was playing it I got right into it I, I played for a while and I turned it off and replayed it again and yeah it's a good working game the mechanics are there the graphics look nice it's just it doesn't have that hook that the Dark Souls sort of games do um, well from software sort of games but if you see it cheap, I'd recommend it's a nice little game to see if you can enjoy it. Next up, Ridge Racer 2 on the PSP. Now this was played through the PlayStation Now or whatever it's called subscription. Um, and it's like played from the PS Vita emulator on the PlayStation 5, which is really weird. And on the PSP on that little tiny screen, it looked crisp, clear, amazing. And then all of a sudden you play on a PlayStation 5 on a big 65 inch screen it looks so blurry and blown up and pixelated 
Um, it still plays nice, it's still fast, it's still got really good music, and it's still a good game, it's just not what you remember. Your mind plays tricks when you're playing these old sort of games, you think it's going to be amazing, you think, mm, that looks a lot worse than I remember. But anyway, good little game, if you've got the subscription, give it a go, if not, meh, I wouldn't buy it. Now the next one, the new rebooted Saints Row, and I got I heard so many negative press reviews, so many negative YouTube videos about this game. I really enjoyed it. It's not the best graphically um, expansive sort of game, but it's fun. And isn't that what we play games for? Just for a bit of fun, a bit of mindless, stupid ex escapism. Just it's just it's a laugh and these sort of games they're getting f too few you know all these games are like proper realistic grindy sort of games and I just want a bit of fun in my life people getting blown up and shot and it's just stupid I love it guys I was shot your friends deserve better you really think you have what it takes to bring me in you deserve better, but only you can choose to adapt to what life throws your way. You called for a ride? Good call. Let's get that money. We're starting a criminal empire. And now it's time for us to reap the benefits. I come for your crown. Oh! Yeah, don't try to figure it out. <clears throat> yeah, point taken. We're really good at what we do. We call ourselves the Saints. So next up, it's a double double whammy again on the PlayStation now. Disney Pixar Toy Story 2: Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue. Now this is the PS1 game, and was it made by Traveller's Tales? I think. But anyway, I don't know if it was or not. But I think it was. And this game looks stunning for the PS1. Even when you go into the first person mode, you got like a reflection of your face in the visor, and. It's like a third person platform game, but when you go into like the when you hold the button down to shoot, it goes into like a first person. And it's got loads of little bits, got like little car racer bits, little platform bits, little flying bits. It's amazing. The game is really good. Now, when I say that, the 25, 30 years hasn't been kind. It doesn't look as good as it was. It's very pixelated, very small environments. The jumping's not as precise as they are nowadays, but it's still a really fun little game, and I'd recommend it. And the last sort of game that I played this week, Disney Pixar Toy Story 3, and this is the game that came out on the PS2. And I played like a few levels of this, and I had to give up because I just didn't like the game. It looks nice, but it's more like a sort of Crash Bandicoot style game now. So the games I played, like you're on like a train and stuff, and you have to get from one carriage to the next few carriages, jumping around, and it's very narrow, very focused, 
it's just not as good as the full open world game of the original sort of game on the PS1. But what are you gonna do? So we have got Steam World Build Steam World Build. We've got a preview of that up on our website. We've got a preview on our YouTube channel. We have reviews of um, Skyly a Prophecy of Dungeon Alchemist. We've got reviews up of them on the website and on our YouTube channel. And as always, please check out the Gran Turismo 7 series, the OEG Fantasy Football League with Football Manager 23 Mobile. And then when we get time, we'll try and do the Evercade series, the Star Trek Online series, Worst Games Ever series, and the Ridge Racer 6 series. So it's been me, David, from One Gaming, episode 340 of the games played this week. So we'll have a quick break, and we'll go into this week's news. So thank you. See you in a few.